The Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia now. It is the end of the legal road for former New England mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday declined to hear Salemi's request for a new trial. Target 12 investigator Tim White covered the Salemi trial at federal court in Boston in 2018. And Tim, Salemi considered a mob boss from Boston, but yep. there are strong ties to Providence in this case as well. Uh, yeah, Shannon, there, there really are. And, and let's first start with the victim. Stephen DeSaro vanished in 1993, and his disappearance, well, it remained a mystery until 2016 when his body was exhumed from behind a Providence mill building on Branch Avenue in Providence. And DeSaro himself was originally from Providence, born and raised. He owned a nightclub in Boston called The Channel, in which Salemi and his late son, Frank Jr., were silent partners. And it really is amazing to think that nearly, what, three decades mm. after his murder, this is all finally coming to an end with the Supreme Court giving Salemi the thumbs down. Mm. And I know prosecutors in this case said Salemi's motivation in the murder was that he thought DeSaro was cooperating with the FBI. That's but right. He actually wasn't. No, he wasn't, Kim. Salemi and co-defendant Paul Wiedek were convicted of a, a charge called murder of a witness. Now, investigators said DeSaro was killed in Salemi's kitchen at his Sharon, Massachusetts home. These are evidence photos I got from covering Salemi's trial. In closing arguments, prosecutors said DeSaro had not cooperated with the government when he was killed. But look, the law only requires that the defendant, in this case Salemi, thought the victim had or believed they would talk to law enforcement. It was actually Salemi's son who killed DeSaro. This is an FBI photo of uh, Frank Salemi Jr. He had Paul Wiedek helping. Salemi was in the kitchen at the time and he ordered the hit. I should mention that Frank Salemi Jr. He died in 1995 of lymphoma. And this is really the end of the line now for Salemi. Well, Shannon, it really looks like it. I mean, think about it. Salemi, he's 88 years old. Hmm. Uh, he's at a federal medical prison in Missouri. Now, he could conceivably get out uh, with compassionate release early if there were another surge in, in COVID cases. But I really think that is unlikely. Judges do not like to release people early in crimes of violence, and that is certainly what Salemi was convicted of here. All right, Target 12 investigator Tim White, thank you so much. My pleasure.